we're wrapping up and leaving the Truck Camper Adventure Rally 2022 uh, at the Roadrunner Wash outside Portsite. It was a great time. It turns out that the Cirruses had the biggest grouping of campers. It's a real, um, <laughs> it's a real bumpy roads. It's a real bumpy road, but it's a real dedicated group and we met amazing people as we always do when we get together with Cirrus owners. So, um, and shout out to Ted, 92 years old, very inspirational for keeping going in truck camping. Yeah. He's truck camping solo all over the place in his uh, Cirrus 620. Yeah. Really great guy. Hope you see him on the trail. Yeah. Uh, did you get the, you got the BLM pass? Yep. Okay, cool. Good to see you. Perkins. Let's go back to the beginning. Last fall, we made a video with tours, tips, and mods at the annual Cirrus Owners Rally in Sugar Creek, Ohio, near the new camp factory. We'll link that below so you can go check it out. This year, we're going to meet the owners of 14 different Cirrus truck campers and find out why they chose new camp. Then they'll take us inside to show us their mods. The Truck Camper Adventure Rally was a whirlwind of activity with events and classes, so there was surprisingly little time to get together. But we did what we could to squeeze in some time. You're going to see the 620, 800, 820, and 920 with model years ranging from 2016 to 2022 hot off the line. When the wind gets a little crazy, I'll put text up on the screen. Get ready to meet a wonderful group of new friends living the Cirrus life. Let's go. Get in line, get in line. I'm Tom Austin, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, and my rig is a 2022 Sirius New Camp 820 camp. I had a Lance travel trailer, but I wanted something that was more off-road capabilities. Mm -hmm. So I know with a four-wheel drive truck like this one, this is a Ram 2017 3500 diesel dually with uh, four-wheel drive, so I can pretty much take it anywhere that I couldn't take the, the uh, travel trailer. Yeah. So I wanted to upgrade to that to, lay out, to allow myself to do more mm -hmm. boondocking across the country and see more places. Mm -hmm. Then when I discovered the, the new camp, mm -hmm. the serious one, it was a game changer. The, mm -hmm. the modern design, yeah, very European, the all the uh, heating system was a, was a game changer. So it, with those features in the room, the styling, uh, the layout uh, and following some of the other people that have YouTube channels that that live in these full time gave me a little good information about making that decision to, to jump from the Lance to the, the new camp. So it was a great decision. I'm real happy with it. Another thing I want to do is do an alternator DC to DC charge from the engine to the camper batteries and eventually upgrade the camper batteries from two AGMs to a, a lithium. The backsplash is just molding. I got it at Home Depot. I cut it, glued it, painted it, and stuck it up there with command strips. That's and so nice. that gave me a good place to, because I enjoy cooking. So I needed a good place to put all my spices. And that holds most of them, but I do have a few more in the cabinets. Okay. And is this, this is the factory sink and that's everything? That's a factory that's sink. That's amazing. a change from the 21 to the yeah. 22 model. It came okay. out with a rectangular sink that's a much deeper single yeah. bowl sink, okay. which I like. Mm -hmm. Another thing was they took off the door and mm -hmm. they replaced yeah. the door with a sliding door. That's fantastic. Love that. I think everybody wants to do that. Yeah, I love the fact that the sink folds down, gets mm -hmm. out of the way, gives you a little bit more elbow room when you're in there using the bathroom. Right. Absolutely. And so that, that's that's great. I yeah. love the bath. And in the wet bath, I've gotten used to that. That was a, that had never had a wet bath before, but that's real easy. You just learn how to turn and how to position yourself mm -hmm. to get in there and get a shower. Okay. Speed control, you right. can set it, or you can also set it by temperature. It's okay. got a 5.5 Norcal uh, refrigerator freezer. 
compartment. Okay. Uh, it runs on all three, AC, DC, and uh, uh, propane. Okay. Uh, right now, since we're boondocking, I've got it on propane. Okay. And it does a great job of keeping it cool. Now, does the TV come like this in the 22 on that mount? Yes. Oh, it does. And the, and the mount will swing out where the TV will yeah, face the dinette, right. or you can face it and watch TV on the bed. That's a nice, that is a nice upgrade. Lots of LED lights. Okay, yeah, that's a nice under upgrade. the sink, under the table, and all the way down the sides. And those are nice speakers as well. That that's yes. an upgrade from what we have currently. There's a nice stereo system right there around there okay, where the books right. is. Right. Oh. So. Wow, that's sharp. Mm -hmm. And so. Lots of good storage with these yeah. locks, though. That that way, when you're going down the road, yep. you don't have to worry about things falling open. Yep, the you airline just push locks that and it are locks. great. Yep. Love so, that. how are you feeling about? There was there's been a lot of controversy about the lower microwave. What are you, what is is that working for not you? Not a problem. I know it? the previous okay. year they had the microwave mm -hmm. up here and yeah. they moved it down here and they got mm -hmm. they lost the three drawers. Yeah. And I know a lot of people have had problems with mm -hmm. that yeah. drawer loss, but it hasn't been a problem for me. Yeah. What I do is that all my silverware cutlery I just put in this mm -hmm. box right yeah. here. Yeah. My pans are set on top of it, so I just store it right there. It's all right. together. So if I need yeah. a fork, spoon, a knife, right. it's all right here in the little plastic clear shoe box. This is my pantry. Wow. And this is my utensils. I've actually got more in here than I need. And I've got extra dishes in case I have a guest. The big advantage that the series has over uh, the other brands is that they have the uh, Aldi heating system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of heat and also hot water. And it's a radiant heat system that has a glycol pump that circulates pump through these radiator systems within the tank. So this is a four season camper. So you can go in below freezing temperatures, you know, got in the single digits and you'll be just fine in here. As long as you got everything running, you know, you got plenty of propane, you'll be good because it'll heat the bay, it'll heat the tanks, it'll yeah. heat all the valves and stuff that's down in the basement area under our feet and then come up it's and they actually pulls in the cool air at the bottom yeah. below these cabinets. Okay, right. Then the air circulates up behind the cabinet that's right through here. Oh, so you get this convection fun. heating system that yeah. circulates the heat around. And that it keeps the nice camper upgrade. really warm. There's a heat, the same kind of heating yeah. system, the Aldi yeah. system, yeah. comes up right. through this vent right here. That feels really nice uh, in the middle you, of the night when it's Yeah, nice and you can cold. feel it too. It's when it's so cold, really you can feel the heat yeah. coming up right. through there. Yeah. It's great to shower. It's got a shower head that comes off the little wand. Oh, look and at that. That's it, so fancy. So that when you're first turning it on and you go to get a little blast of cold yeah. water, you can just put it at your feet, turn it on, adjust the temperature, and then hang it up, and then you're ready to go. Bob and Maria Shimizu, and we're from South Lake Tahoe. We had a four-wheel pop-up before, okay. and um, it had no space, really. No drawers. It had one little tiny drawer, so we made, we made do without it. So this has a lot more space. So, And I was really excited because this is a convection micro. Yes, what do you think? But we're not boondocking. We're boondocking most of the time. And yeah, I can't, really can't <laughs> use it. Gotcha. So we actually don't use it. Okay. We, have, uh, we used it once with a generator down in Baja, but this is like what we do oh, most okay. of all of our food, but we don't have, we're not full time. So, so this is how I took care of my right. silverware. Right. That looks good. Okay. There's a lot of food there. Here. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of space really. Yeah. But so it's split into uh, mm -hmm. like two hampers, if you will. Yeah. So I just fold all my clothes up okay. before we leave. I roll it. The yeah. Maria Kondo way. I don't know if right. you're familiar I with her. I am absolutely a Maria Kondo <laughs> fan. Yep. Yeah. So I just get everything in there. Yeah. And, we had a separate bag over there for laundry. Yeah. And, um, and then here, you know, we have this one put all our spices. So I, I have, I, we like to cook a lot. So you got like a lazy Susan there. Okay. Yeah. So that was just, I don't know, you know, home yeah. goods is everywhere you go. Right. So we put like our coffee goods in here. Right. And this is what we were really excited about. <laughs> it's a USB. No way. Grinder. USB. Come on. Wow. Yeah. So if you want this. I might have to look into that. Yeah, and it's only like thirty dollars. Wow. I mean, now you can get manual grinders, but I don't feel like grinding it by hand. That's awesome. I and love it. Yeah, and it just has a USB-C. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> that is so perfect. That's, that's the thing that I really think is kind yeah, of cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And we got one of those Melita, so it's just a big giant mm -hmm. um, pour okay. over, so it right. holds a lot of pot coffee and it keeps okay. it really hot. Okay, now you guys have two fans and no air conditioner. Is that because it didn't come in or you chose it that way? Um, no, they didn't have it. So we, okay. don't get, we didn't get an awning, awning okay. or we didn't get a, um, an air conditioner. But we realized that you have to be plugged in, mm -hmm. short power. So you're thinking about just sticking with it? Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a whole house fan where we used to live. Uh -huh. And so at night we just yeah. turn on the fan and it would cool the house down like so fast. TV is a little TV, I don't know. I'm sure everybody has this thing. On an articulating arm. Yep. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And you've probably seen this. It's a new kind of. Um, oh, nice. It just wipes I like off. The fabric. Oh, my gosh. Right. So yeah. it doesn't get dirty. And um, very nice. We do have our grand dog a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> a sliding door on this, right? Which yeah. So that's none of us have in our old. 
Yeah. Like this? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's, it's much less smaller. bulky. Okay. And then this one has the medicine cabinet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow, so, that is super fancy. So, let me see if I opened it with that. And it needs like little... Um, Oh yeah, like little rails benches, or whatever. Rails, because if you're tilted and if yeah, so you, we open it very carefully. But okay. you know we have all this extra soap yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, I gave you a hook. This here. Oh, it's like a hat that towel. Came with it. Okay. Yeah, nice. so that's kind of cute. I mean, that's it's one last thing you had to put up. <laughs> yeah, we had a like a four wheel pop up. We were looking at getting another one, and we had sold it right at the peak of COVID because it was the prime time to do it. Mm -hmm. And then we were getting ready to put down payment on it, and we just started adding up the price for it. We're like, this is expensive, and it didn't come with solar mm. or like a inverter and all the other stuff mm -hmm. that it comes with. And of course, there's a little marine toilet. Mm. The shower was like right in the middle, and you would have to climb over the dinette to get back in. And we, we did that before, but mm -hmm. as we started researching, we saw that this, the value mm -hmm. for this was so much better. We had so much more amenities and of course we can't go off-roading as deep into the mm -hmm. you know the, right you know the jungle yeah. or whatever right. as we did off. but for this it's so comfortable yeah. um the workmanship mm -hmm. you know is just beautiful it did, and then had a modern feel it didn't look like um you know the the 80s mm -hmm. 70s kind of yep. green and right. upholstery so awesome. and then the new one Yes, nice right. Sink. That is a nice sink, right? So you can hide all your dirty dishes there. <laughs> I was thinking of becoming snowbirds. <laughs> Perfect. I hear you. So you swapped out your table. There you go. For the lagoon table. Now I'm in love with it. And, and now you're in love with because it. Because before we had it just not quite right, but now it's perfect. You so have a, a symmetry um, yes. <laughs> definition that has, must be met. Got it. For symmetry. Yeah. Okay. Because we're full time, we were only able to keep certain things. But this is when we got married. Instead of having, you know, like okay. a. Uh, the thing that people sign. Yeah. We were like, we had to find a way to keep our paddles and they Aww. just happen to fit perfect. And your amazing collection of water <laughs> balls, is there a story behind that? There's not, other than somehow we got one and now we have 25, but. Do this you is, really have 25? We have 25, yeah. Okay. And when we boondock though, we fill them all. So since we've been oh. here a couple of days, these have all been used already. Okay. And then we have another load in the truck and we'll okay. just keep going through. So you get do use them because people are always like how do you use all those but we do right. actually use them that's awesome. and that's usually like our one souvenir if we go somewhere right right you, you put stickers on there you or... get a sticker okay yeah. and nice. nothing else because we don't have room for anything yeah else. right <laughs> your kitchen is a, a, like a miracle because <laughs> it's the cl it's the cleanest kitchen on earth it needs, and yes. uh yeah, and so we didn't calming. do any of the mods there. Yeah. It's the okay. norm. refrigerator broke. Our refrigerator broke. And you had to remove it by having it sawn in half? It had to be sawed in half, okay. yes. And even, I think, the fridge that they got in, um, they weren't sure that they were going to get it through the door. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to leave the next day. Okay. So, All right. So, yeah. But here's the great thing mm -hmm. is that, so now we have an $80 mini fridge, and we've yeah. lived with it for two and a half years on the road, and it works off of our solar. Okay. Um, and it's highly replaceable. You've got a 1,000 watt inverter, looks yeah. like. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so and you've got extra storage. Yeah, we have extra storage. And you guys are living full time. You've been for how yeah, long? Two and a half years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's our little, that was our dinner. The, this is the styrofoam from the dinner that we had when we sold the house. And then okay. started living in our friend's driveway until we hit the road. So. Okay. And yeah. do you post? Every day on Facebook? Oh, we do. So we do post every day on Facebook, just our little update about Okay, and that's on Chasing Harley. You got it. And yes, what's the story yeah. between, or on Chasing Harley? That's Josh's dog, who we okay. literally chased everywhere. Okay. But it's sort of an essence of him because he didn't, he just did. He was like, that's where I want to go, I'm okay. going. Okay. So I'm Joan Braddock, and this is... Doug Braddock. <laughs> and that's Juniper, who's a, being kind of a pain. <laughs> what a sweetie. She's a good truck camper dog. Currently from Bend, Oregon, but we lived for years and years and years and years and years in Alaska until, just until last summer. A road track camper van for years, so we've done a lot of boondocking, but we wanted something that we could go more into back roads with. But so far it's been great. Okay. We really enjoy all of it. Yeah. Holds a lot of water, has big tanks. <laughs> Um, but the styling is really nice. And I saw the pictures and I just went, oh my gosh, I love the way this one looks. And then we started doing research and decided it was good besides its looks. We're kind of newbies. We haven't done that many okay. modifications. Okay, a few things. Yet. Okay. Although we thought water filters, canes, yes. 
installed and we discovered that we never knew the person who owned it before us but apparently that was something they know this was oh, another that. thing that came with the somebody um, did you and that proud, was yeah. really nice yeah. yeah if i you know you could find one like that mm -hmm. i wish it this part came out separately okay but right yeah so you're kind of minimal it. but it still holds a yeah. huge amount of stuff i love drawers yes yeah. yeah. drawers good yes <laughs> excellent okay yeah. Yeah. And you got and the big microwave. This is, yes, which I don't use for anything. It's the bread box. Yes, uh huh. Right. I, that's what I hear about a lot. It's a, it makes a great bread box. For it's sure. An excellent okay. bread box. Um, and there's a nice light. It provides some extra lighting. Um, oh, look at that. You have some nice, nice little rack yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got that because we always yes. carry maps. It mm -hmm. seems like so. Yeah. It's nice to have that. Okay. Oh, yes. It came nice. with shelving. And. Um, so no, none moment. of this stuff is stock, you know. I know. That's amazing. I know. We had some nice things when we got it, so that yeah. was really nice. You're really lucky. Yeah. Ikea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basic Ikea linens. Oh, on. yeah. Okay. And right. they're sort of slick. So we yeah. that's the very biggest pot we have. Exactly. So it okay. actually washes. Yeah. The point being is washes just fine. Yeah, washes there. fine in that sink. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's bigger, not as big as the new 2022, okay. but I don't need to be any bigger. You can see how many pots I can fit in. Yeah, okay. I can still have that. So. And this is the um, This is all aftermarket. This is, it? No, this is okay. aftermarket. Okay. This is aftermarket. Aftermarket. Oh, um, this nice. is 3D printed to cover the light, the glow oh, at yeah. night. Okay. Um, Are you the one that posted that yeah. too? Okay, that's um, pretty cool. Are you making those available for people? Or? Yeah, my buddy um, is... I mean, he's gonna ship it a couple people, okay. and then he's adding it to things first. And it's just um, magnetic here, three D printed and magnetic inset into oh, okay. that, so that way it's you know you can get into things. Um, and that's like a toaster oven, or yeah, this is um, toaster oven, oven, air fryer, air all that, all oh that my fun, gosh. all that fun stuff. So does it is it electric only, or you yeah, it's electric battery? only, one twenty volt. Okay. Um, 120 volt. It's also taken apart. These are 3D printed pegs, so it keeps it in place, so it won't move around. Yeah. The first person I've talked to that's using 3D printed parts in their campers, that's pretty cool. I have a lot of 3D printed parts. That's, that's 3D awesome. printed, like okay. I sh showed yeah. you. Um, those were, uh, this is 3D printed. Oh yeah, okay. Um, cool. Up in here in the bed. Um, this is 3D printed to hold the PlayStation. Not organized yet, I gotta okay. redo it, but. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got another outlet ran. Okay. I'm gonna run DC as well, mm -hmm. and then my the Mac that I said that I had bought okay. will be mounted right in here. Okay. And that's 3D printed. Awesome. The holder. These are um, more 3D printed parts. Okay. Um, this is also a 3D printed part. This is the old orange color, but this is a okay. um, mount for my laptop when oh, I use the. Oh yeah. Uh, my monitor, so I can you know move that around. Mm -hmm. and oh, look at that! More 3D printed parts. These are for my 8020. You're like the next generation of campers. I I never really plug in. This is 100% uh, work in progress. Um, work in progress battery system, um, which is uh, it's a eight cell battery. Okay. Um, wow. I messed up the top balancing. So they're not going to get me the full power, but they're rated for 516 amp hours at 12 volts. So we did a remodel in our bathroom. Now, did you put in this door? Or was it like um, this? Yep, so <gasps> Vince did that. Yep. Oh, yes. We got rid of the big wooden one just to save weight. Yes, that is fantastic. Oh, um, look at and that. And we took the old sink out because we never used it and right. built a little shelf. Okay. With our trash can. Yes, in I love it. Sure. That's amazing. Yeah. I think I saw you posted, must have posted pictures Vincent, online. Yeah. I love this. Okay. Yeah. And then we changed out our sink too. Don't mind okay. the dirty dishes. No. Um, so we did a deeper sink. We this is how this people sink. live in their camper. You know, it's one thing to see them at the dealership. People yeah. want to know what does it look like when you're living in it. Yeah. And you have dishes in your sink. <laughs> there's of course. Our, yeah. There's our dirty dishes. And then Vince works from here. So we've okay. got his work computer set up. Well, the thing I. I like I like the uh, heating system. The Aldi, okay, Aldi. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like uh, the fact that they put a little Bose speaker in. Okay. That's nice. I use that a lot. Yeah. 
and the cassette toilet is very handy, I find. Okay. So you take that out and just dump it right. anywhere? Okay. Well, not anywhere, but uh, yeah. in, a, in a toilet? Or? Yeah, right. Okay. All right. So it's convenient in that regard. Okay. The refrigerator is adequate, and I like mm -hmm. the fact it's 12 volts. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. 12 volt refrigerator. Yeah. Yep. And I like the European style cabinet. Yes, too. isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And okay. the windows. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I haven't found too much I don't like. don't like the dinette. We do have the lagoon table, but we don't like it. You do so, have a lagoon under there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're going to modify this more, but we have two little dogs that like to cuddle. Yeah. And we like to lounge. So this, this looks like a perfect dog space. This yes. This works for us. Dog heaven. Yes. So that's what we do. Basket. I put a light on. Oh, and she put a little uh, it's privacy gorgeous. thing yeah, up here. Yeah. I put this up because Tom tends to come running in the door and I'm changing. Uh huh. And that door, it's like hello world. Exactly. That happens. So and that looks like a cut down shower curtain, probably? Or no. Is it just an curtains? actual curtain that okay. off Amazon? Perfect. Okay. We learned that it also is fantastic when it's cold. Uh huh. If we pull this at night or whatever, the two of us in bed, yeah. that uh -huh. keeps that warmth that we can yeah. keep that lower, the thermostat lower. Now I see you've got um, the reflectix yeah. in your in your stargazer i hadn't seen that before that's interesting um, there's a little bit of debate about that but i do have the window cracked and i okay. do have that up there because a lot of heat is generated with these oh so much marine fan okay so for boats yeah. runs on a 12 volt system okay so we even have a fan and you've got it mounted up there yep. or? and it moves that's, i think i need one of those which way. i love it yeah <laughs> okay right yep and then the mirror. That okay. Oh yeah, and nice. Look at that big mirror. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So I that's the that. bathroom. And I put a motion sensor light. Oh, look at your little spice rack. Yeah, our spice rack. Wow. Oh. With tension rods from Walmart. They're like, t tension rods are $2. Okay. It was in there because it was a just wasted space that we needed more yeah. organization. That is um, giving you a lot of space there. That's yeah. amazing. What's, so, what's the bottom thing? The bottom thing is a convection oven. Put in a deep sink. Yes, beautiful. Yep. Nice. And this is for filtered water. Your water filtration I'm system, right? You. Yeah. Which I think we're definitely going to do. So our filter's here. And we're okay. able to bump up the filter to a kind that is stronger in filtering out other things. Because we were going to go to Mexico. Okay. So that right. was what we were ideal on. Okay. And then this. I put yeah. that up. And my mm -hmm. knives stay when I drive down the road. The, the generator. Mm-hmm. My fire extinguisher. Is your generator um, locked? It's locked in there, it looks it's like. It's locked in there. Nicely. Oh, yeah. Okay. This pipe goes on to the one direction and it goes directly into the water jug. It's notched out here so that you can suck up every last drop. Okay, great. And then I use a short hose to go into the fill. Right, okay. And I have a bungee cord in here that holds it. Okay, yep. So I don't have to stand Someone doesn't have to there. stand there and hold it. It takes okay. a gallon or so a minute, so it takes okay. a little bit. Um, Creer, C-R-E-E-R, -E -E steel. Uh -huh. And he fabricated the... the Stainless steel, he bent it, he measured it. Wow. And between the walls, we put it in, we put a bead of caulk around it. It went down just like tile. Okay. Mastic went down, mm -hmm. set it down. Everything I had in the cabinets mm -hmm. was weighting it down, and this is held down with the same uh, mastic okay. or caulking, right. so we can replace the sink if we need to. Okay. This is the annoying part I was telling you yeah. about. This mm -hmm. lights up at night, we cover up the lens here. Yeah. Uh, another issue is the knives when they're this way uh -huh. 
they slide down bumpy roads oh, yeah, that makes sense. and fall off. Okay, so, so we just turned them around yeah. this way and we've never had a problem. We've got our business card on here in case of emergency. Hi. And so if the dogs have a problem and we're not here, mm -hmm. they have a phone number to contact yeah. us. Uh, this is Dennis and Linda Jacobson. We drive a Cirrus 820 on a 2015 20 one-ton Chevy truck. Uh, what drew me to it initially was how it looked. Second thing was the heat. It's got that quality heat and that is quiet and just completely constant throughout the camper. So you're, you're just as warm in one part of the camper and another and it doesn't make any noise so you don't have this big propane furnace blasting you out for 30 seconds every other minute. I love the double pane windows. I love that this one has the propane tanks and the batteries and storage. Plus we put it on a, a long bed truck and it's really meant for a short bed. Uh, but we found out where the center of gravity was on everything and found out Space there that we can store extra gas or firewood and things you don't like to store inside a truck or inside the camper. So it gave us a lot more of door storage to the We added the table because okay. it was not. So this is a lagoon table. Over there, they're now split. All right, we that's right, the coffins. We call them the coffins. Yeah, yeah okay. So you split them and so that you can, so we can independently. Get them. Right. Okay, right, so that's just like a little shelf that pops mm -hmm. down and pops up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that is hard to for. It's like a secret hiding place too. Yep. And then yeah. you said this is your mosquito yes. uh, catcher. And as you can see, it has worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we have a pass through. Okay. Yeah. And, and what we do, do you like is, it okay? Uh, well, yes. And what we do, okay. what I do, is I do this. Yeah. Okay. To keep perfect. out the wind and stuff when yeah. it's cold. Okay. Nice yeah. Long wow. Yeah. yeah. Here's what Dennis did. He added the. Uh, this is our inverter. Okay. So you added an inverter. inverter, so to make this one hot. Okay. So we push that button, and I can just and that plug runs in off my, the battery. I can run off the coffee pot. Okay. So is it just the coffee pot you can run, or? Well, we could run a probably a uh, Instapot. We did this. Yes. This, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. This we really like that. Oh, that is handy. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you just take it. Do you take it down when you take a shower, or you just? Uh, actually, no. Because I just, you just use the curtain. I leave the door okay. open, and I just yeah, shower from there. Put in a bunch of more outlets because there wasn't yeah. enough outlets in here. Yeah. So we have Absolutely. USB on okay. each side. When we went to Arkansas, I didn't mm -hmm. find any diamonds. Oh, <laughs> so I put diamonds on that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It'll last for quite a while. But this is what we love. Yeah, that's that is so, so cool. And he can lock it, and so we have a space for extra gas. So anything else that we don't yeah. put on some of these lights, but we always take them off. They're motion detectors. Okay. Because when we think about going to Alaska, and I wanted to make sure that when we got out, we weren't going to be some bear. Uh, my name is Larry Neely, and uh, my wife Judy. We're from Northern California. We like to boondock, take our vehicle to certain places. We've been in Montana and Idaho and stuff, and I like it because of the all season and I like it for the heating system. Okay. And it's quiet. Fifth wheels first, and then a motorhome, and then the motorhome to this. Okay. We downsize, and this is plenty for what we need. Okay. You found these magnet boards and just stuck them up there? We bought them at Home Depot. It's just yeah, pieces yeah. of metal, okay. and we that, put it on uh, with a two-sided tape. Underneath is where we put our shoes. I thought that we put a rod down here, and oh. we could just put a couple shoes. That's absolutely brilliant. I actually but the rod won't that. stay on, so okay. we had to put a support. Okay. The sheets are on the inside of the sleeping bag, yeah. okay. and I just tied them in. I had to uh, sew in some ties, Okay. but it holds them really nice in there. Yeah. And then I can take them off and wash them. And it's easy to easy to make. Right? It's easy to make. Yeah. Look at that big sink. My goodness. We did that. We had to do that because the other That's one was too small. That's a beautiful sink. Oh, and this is nice. Well, this was supposed to be our paper towel holder, but when we put it up, you can't get them in. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Well, this works out great for a, for a towel so, holder, right? So, Yes, beautiful. Yeah. The shampoo worked out nice. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so, that looks really nice. Okay, awesome. And I like your, um, let me put that in. Hi, my name is Sasha and I travel with my husband, Scott. Uh, unfortunately, right now he's not available. He's actually filming uh, for our YouTube channel. We have a 2019 New Camp Series 920. 
Uh, we've always wanted to have a truck camper for you know a lot of reasons. Uh, we really like the fact that the the camper sits on the bed of the truck, and we can detach it when we have to. Our truck had some issues, so we had to repair it and we were just so happy that we still had our home with us we can't really do that with a van or you know regular trailer it's a slightly different process so truck camper is really nice we wanted to get something that we really liked we were picking our house not just the camper so uh, we like Sirius for the fact that it has a very quiet um, hydraulic heating system um, it never wakes us up I know a lot of campers have that furnace that is very loud and our Audi is just so quiet uh, the very first time we got it we were thinking that it's actually broken because it was so quiet we're like is this even on and it was on like it was fine but yeah super happy about that it doesn't have any slides I know a lot of campers they're much bigger um, and I guess a, a little bit of room would be nice but we're also super happy that we don't have to deal with the slides personally I really like the aesthetics of the series um, if Scott was here he'll probably have his own um, his own reasons but I think for me aesthetics was also pretty important I like the European design it looks much better than you know some other campers that may look a little bit a little bit older we are from New Hampshire but we travel full-time so we just visit our friends and family once a year and we know that you guys have made some amazing mods to the inside so oh, would you be happy you. to show us sure this is our uh, trash can probably see them in you know toilets uh, it's basically oh. for female hygiene products but we really like the size uh, it fits perfectly like on our door and it makes it very easy to you know just throw in a regular bag yeah so come on in um, this is our little, little home home on wheels and this is the major area that you've modified yeah this is our office so I'm sure you you might have seen that um, a lot of a lot of campers come with like a, a lagoon table basically the, the table that twists and turns and um, we have the same table we liked it at first uh, but then we don't just go camping we travel full-time so we also have to work full-time so we really needed um, an office and another problem that we had with a lagoon table was that um, every time we would have to you know work or cook we would have to disassemble everything stop our process and you know make food clean up put our laptops back and it's just not enough space really so um, Scott had an idea, he's very technical and I'm so happy. Um, um, he was able to basically build everything from scratch. Um, he got the shelf, I believe in maybe Lowe's or Home Depot, and we just use it as a permanent, permanent um, office. Uh, we have our laptop, our you know, pens and stuff. Uh, and this thing is like, is our table. <laughs> so whenever we eat, we use this and whenever we work, we just, you know, use the office and, and also this this is our extra space and storage uh, since we travel full-time we have to have a lot of things unfortunately mm -hmm. um, a lot of paperwork and you know just tools camera gear so we needed that extra storage we have batteries um, underneath here you can yeah. actually see them uh, but this is basically our um, electrical compartment it's been a good home to us yeah is that the sink that came with it? Or? No, we oh. actually we had to replace both sinks. Um, okay. The sinks that we had originally was a little bit smaller and it had that um, glass lid. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And we liked it, it was great, but then um, it had that little edge. I'm not sure if you if you have the same mm -hmm. sink. Yes. Uh -huh. um, it was just a little bit too small. Mm -hmm. We couldn't really wash our like pots and pans, so we just wanted to have something bigger. And then we also liked the fact that our, you know, um, faucet is more manageable now because yeah. we used to have just that small faucet and it right. didn't really work that well yeah. so no that's fantastic this works much better <laughs> our series originally came with a round style sink and it wasn't really draining they sent us a kit and something was missing okay. uh, maybe like a screw or something but it oh. was a very important screw important. Of okay right yeah so um the the dealership where we got it couldn't really do the install but they were able to um basically give us the kit so we were able to do it ourselves okay. which which was nice now it drains it works just so much better our um mag magnetic knife holder is it ikea um uh i think we actually got it off of amazon this is very you know strong and, and our yeah. knives never fall down which is awesome. nice michael and mary brand we're from uh, grapevine texas f350 uh, long bed uh, dually diesel and we uh we, we chose a truck camper because we, we love the 
versatility of a truck camper. Um, it's very compact. There's not a lot of extras to it. Uh, it's easy to easy to get things done with it, and you can you can get in and out of small places. If we are traveling on the road and we want to take advantage and uh, enjoy some serendipitous find along the side of the road, there's plenty of space anywhere a car can go. We can go with with our truck camper. The first truck camper we looked at was a Palomino pop-up uh, truck camper, and then uh, we uh, did a lot of research online, looked at a lot of stuff on RV Trader. We were trying to refine what we wanted to get. We finally figured out that we wanted to get a Cirrus 920, and one finally popped up on um, was it Facebook, Facebook Marketplace? Marketplace? Yeah, it was in pristine condition. Yeah, we had heard about the uh, the rally before we even had the camper in our possession. Mm -hmm. So wow. we were, as soon as we got the truck and the camper, then we saw that the registration was open, so we signed up for the rally. Yeah. I like your sure. map. That's nice. It's I like how it's got the little pictures of uh, things in the state. Yeah, we were very proud to put our home state on there yes. when we stayed uh, in the grasslands. I've got a little uh, small USB driven uh, DC fan going. It draws like a half an amp to one amp just to try to pull this air, this cooler air through yeah. from the pass through. Okay. But, uh, this is our 920. Uh, I think it's one of the longer, longer ones. It's about a foot longer than the 820. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got a, a big TV here, a DVD player, radio. Um, Overhead storage folds down to a, a bunk, they say, like for a child. We, we're not going to be doing that. Okay. Um, this folds down into a bunk. This is our dinette and couch area. Okay. And then a very comfortable bed. Mm -hmm. This is the Frawley system that y'all probably heard about. The uh, provides the springs and also gives a, an air cushion mm -hmm. to help keep the, the mold down. Right. Uh, but it's very comfortable. Good, good. Uh, wonderful skylight for nighttime stargazing. Right, which you do, cooler, which you do enjoy. Which I do enjoy. Yeah, so he's yeah. A former uh, amateur astronomer. Right. So. Um, okay. Everything you need. Yeah. Everything we need: uh, fridge, freezer, uh, all the essentials, essentials, German beer. <laughs> <laughs> all the different varieties of beer. Varieties right? Those of are the beer. food types. Yes. A little cooling oh, down here. That's neat. I didn't know about that. Pull out. Um, oh, look at that! Nobody showed me that before. Yeah. That's fantastic! Wow. We need to fill it with some, yeah. some vittles. Something, yeah. We awesome. have a propane stove here, mm -hmm. propane oven here. Propane oven, okay, awesome. We have yeah. a um, convection microwave here, which mm -hmm. is very nice. Okay. So we got two ovens. Yeah, and is there a fan in this hood? There is a fan nice. in the hood. Nice, okay. Yeah, and a light, great, okay. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. And it looks like you've got like one fantastic fan yeah. and an AC unit. We do yeah. have a fantastic fan, AC unit. Oh. Um, wow. We had an interesting yeah. a ghost. Our, our bathroom fan turned itself on at 4 a.m. one night, right. and we didn't know what to do, so I ended up pulling the fuse yeah. to make it stop. Right. It's on the same circuit as uh, the oven fan and the fantastic fan, so um, and and the backup camera of all things. Okay. So in order to, to fix it, I just got up there, pulled the fan blade off, and yeah. pulled the wire off. Mm -hmm. It has okay. a connectable wire. Yeah. So now I'll be able to use my backup camera on the trip home. Oh. I keep all my toys in here. This is a ramp for two e-bikes, so that one collapses oh. and fits into no kidding. You see that's another e-bike. Oh, okay. Keep my spare here. Yeah, okay. My mat tracks. This is a utility bed. Utility bed, okay. But it's 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 not a utility bed because it was custom built specifically for this camper okay. and this chassis. Okay. So it's not an off-the-shelf utility okay, gotcha. bed. Okay. All right. I also wanted it as low as possible. Mm -hmm. This is mounted right on the chassis, okay. right on the rails of the chassis. Okay. The rig to the top is 11 feet 2 inches. This oh. is my outdoor freezer. Okay. I'm a fisher. Fishing, okay. So typically, this is where I would put my fish so okay. I don't have to take fish right. inside. Okay. This is my vacuum packer. Yeah, and nice. And I have a fillet table. This is my, my tool closet. So, okay. you know, I just keep all my hand tools okay. in here. Yeah. And this is a stand for a vice. So this rig weighs uh, just over 16,000 pounds. I have an abundance 
of storage space. You, you do, Which I is see not that. something you hear normally uh, no, huh? about a truck here. Right, yeah. I didn't like having to pull the water out from here. Yeah. So I ran a pipe uh -huh. up through here, up to here. Okay. And this goes here. Okay. So I have right. an outside shower. Yeah. So I, I carry right. this little folding bamboo. Yeah. Grid. So okay. Just put it down. We'd like to stop using okay. fossil fuels. That makes sense. You know, I, I think it. we all need to do that. Absolutely. So I'm just doing my share. Oh. So I've got the Aldi system, yeah. which uses both propane yes. or electric. Right. So I can use either one. This is my extraction gear. Okay. This is all my spare parts for the truck. Yeah. The, this is a miniature welding kit. This is a pump for, for uh, pumping uh, diesel out of a barrel. Okay. We went through the Sahara, and the, the, if, we, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have been able to get fuel. So, nice. in here, I'm pulling this unit out, and I'm installing a desalination unit in here. Isn't that incredible? So the end of the hose just goes right into the seawater, <laughs> six gallons per, per uh, hour of fresh water. My intention is to go out for as long as two to three months. My air conditioner I tore out from the rooftop. Okay. And I installed it in here. This yeah. is my air conditioner. Okay. It's wow. 12 volt and I can run it all night long with no problem. A 12 volt air conditioner. Yeah. Cruising comfort. Wow. If you want, take a picture yeah. of that. All of this is new. Okay. You know, this this yeah. was not here. So what made you choose um, a new camp for your base? I wanted a very narrow unit. Okay. And no I slide want, outs, nothing no like that. No slide outs. Mm -hmm. I wanted super light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my needs are very simple mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. So I'm a minimalist in here mm -hmm. in terms of luxury Absolutely. and all of that. Yeah. But I'm a maximalist for utility mm -hmm. and storage. Okay. So this bathroom came very plain. Oh, I yeah. added... Yep. The uh, medicine, medicine cabinet. cabinet. Nice. Okay. I put a row of towel hangers here. So I tore out the toilet okay. and put in a composting toilet. Okay. Obviously, I, I no longer have use for a black tank. Mm -hmm. So I built it up a little bit mm -hmm. and routed out underneath. So when when I use the shower, when the first gray water tank fills up, it overflows into that one. So I've doubled my gray water capacity. My entire roof is covered with solar panels. I have 1,200 yeah. watts of solar panels on the roof. I didn't even know that was possible. 1,200. Oh. They're semi-flexible. Okay. It's a company called Solara. Oh. Definitely the best. Okay. These are the panels they use when they build yachts. So okay. they can walk and run across right. them. So here's our place. If you haven't seen an interior video, just generally how we live in it, full-time bedroom area. This is our dining kitchen area, I guess, basically our seating area. And our bathroom. And then we've got pantry in here effectively yeah. our home away from home and here we out are out in the desert outside quartzite at the roadrunner wash one of our favorite little mods that we made are these tula trees little silicone cup cups that just stick to the mirror then they don't have any adhesive or anything they just stick tight because uh, it's the plastic straight to the to the mirror and they are very secure and on this one I, I always use handmade soap so this is where I hang my handmade soap in just a little mesh bag that way it can dry out in between uses and so this is also one of those little tula trees hooks that you can get and they work really well in the camper where you just have mirror space and you don't have to attach any uh, anything with screws or anything to the unit.
camping at the Roadrunner Roadrunner Wash. Roadrunner Wash. Do you see, see any Roadrunners? Nope. It's a wash. It was a wash. <laughs> Getting a little bit of sunset. See some campfires. And this is the end of the truck camper adventure rally. Most of the people have left. A few truck campers still left here though, but not 250. Real far.